Losing a child to a disease can emotionally devastate a family. So imagine the pain of losing two children to the same illness. Carol and Brian Cross of St. Louis have already lost one son to Crab A, an extremely rare disease. But as Health Beat 5 reporter Kay Quinn reports, thanks to SSM, Cardinal Glennon Children's Hospital, and a new treatment, the Crosses hope to spare their young daughter the same fate. It's a miracle. It's giving a miracle to a family. Carol Cross is a cautious yet hopeful mother today. Her daughter, Laura, was born with Crab A disease, an extremely rare disorder that attacks the central nervous system of children. It is a disorder that is lethal in, in uh, childhood, uh, ranging from early childhood to late childhood. Carol and Brian Cross lost their first child, Joshua, to Crab A when he was only two and a half. A daughter, Olivia, now five, was born healthy with no sign of the disease. Little Laura was identified with Crab A while still in her mother's womb. The early diagnosis allowed doctors to aggressively attack the disease with a new treatment shortly after Laura was born. We had Laura tested while I was still pregnant with her, and um, we got the news that she had the disease, and that was very difficult. Laura became a member of medical history with her treatment. When she was just 19 days old, she became the youngest child ever to receive a cord blood transplant at SSM Cardinal Glennon Children's Hospital. The cord blood came from the St. Louis Cord Blood Bank, the second largest cord blood bank in the world. Doctors transplanted blood from a donor mother's umbilical cord into Laura's bloodstream. Laura is now six months old and shows no symptoms of Crab A, which include excessive irritability and an inability to grasp objects. She's just a very different baby, so it's hard to believe that, that there's anything wrong. The blood of an umbilical cord has various antibodies that can protect the fetus from viruses. Laura's old blood cells with Crab A were replaced with new healthy blood cells. We're watching very carefully because um, we know when her brother had started to present with problems. And at this point, she's passing her milestones very nicely, so we're very optimistic. Our daughter has a future because a mom was willing to um, donate her cord blood um, to the cord blood bank here in St. Louis. Kay Quinn, News Channel 5. And if you are an expectant mother and would like more information about cord blood donation, you can call the St. Louis Cord Blood Bank at 268-2787 or 888-453-2673.